welcome to my channel guys so it's the 24th of december and i'm heading to one of my favorite markets in the city of abuja very affordable and accessible and um it's just like a place where you could have everything you need i'm gonna be doing some christmas shopping with my christmas menu where i plan to make white rice and stew shrimp fried rice ikusi soup and i'm going to be buying all the things i need for that in this market it's quite a christmas rush and hopefully i'm able to get what i want in this market today so stick with me guys guys see how busy this market is so busy this is the same market i featured in my video you can go check out um everything about it and man i'm here doing my late shopping like i i always find myself buying things late at the end of the year when i should have stocked up at least a week before christmas but well it is what it is and i'm here to shop i'm now getting things for my salad and my so this is me trying to use my market skills you know to you know negotiate very well and price very well he's telling me that a bag of carrot goes for 34,000 naira and then um you know a lot everything is just like times three the real original price of what we used to get things so i'm here trying to get the best deal i can and i found this yellow carrot and i told him i'm taking it home for free I'm not paying for this. <laughs> this is not my job. Look So I've been able to buy cabbage and um, green peas, green beans, carrots you know and all the vegetables i need for my salad and um, fried rice and i'm heading to the tomatoes point here i am and like you see this is what we call the rica tomatoes like the rica and one of these um, baskets is going for 2500 i think you saw and i was pricing why the small one you see here is 1005 so these tomatoes you don't even need like thin tomatoes this alone can make a great stew and i had to bag in i also had to pick things for zobo yes zobo drink and i'll be doing a video on how i'll be making my homemade zobo so stay tuned subscribe and stick with me guys because we have a lot of content coming up yes guys so i picked up the necessary ingredients i need here for my zobo and i headed to the next point where i need to get the next thing on my list yes yeah, so here i'm getting things for soup you can see how crowded and busy this market is. this market is so big like so big you can get lost in this market so i also got, I got to a point where i had to get my favorite fish which is titus fish this is going for 700 naira for one and then one like three for 500 these smaller ones are i think 300 or there about i just love this fish it's amazing in my pots yes it brings out like all the men the men there you know clinical uh -huh. <laughs> so i got my fish here yeah, i was just talking about how much i love this fish and oh i got my fish and i i wasn't here alone i was here with um this wahala woman <laughs> green like she doesn't like the market so she was just she couldn't wait for us to be done and head to the house i got a goosey for my goosey soup and like a cup was going for 300 i got three cups you know based on the quant the number of people in my house and what was gonna be enough this market was choked like we even there was even at the point where they caught a guy that picked someone's phone like from the person's pocket the way they was the boy slapping eh? the guy the guy yeah, lost really in this um, <laughs> so right now we are going to look for we are looking for um what's it called fowl chicken eh and we're trying to get agri fowl we don't want to get them the native one because that one takes very long to cook you know so about the prices like chicken is going for 15,000 naira 15,000 naira right now we're going to the spot where we're going to look at meat let's see whether we'll buy meat for our soup because it's part of our christmas menu then we'll make up our mind on um, what we want to do about the chicken yes guys so that that will be that yes 
so at this point um, we don't tire we just sat down me i sat down here just looking at them the, the place where they sell the chicken and um you know i just had to zoom in for you to see what's going on there everything about this particular um part of the market is all about chicken 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 and the prices were so outrageous and so we just let us take a stroll to see how much um, they're selling goats and ram for even if it was not on our list yes yeah, so we came here to see what's up with the goats and ram so you see this particular goats hmm. They were going for 37,000 naira last. 37,000. This one that my girl is playing with. <laughs> she was just pulling their horns here and there. It's going for 37,000. Whereas um, the bigger ones, which um, I think a video will show of them, is going for. First of all, he told us 40k. But where I was just pricing him like 30k. He said no. That even the smaller ones, they're giving it out for 35. Then look at this very white, beautiful ram. Um, that she, that um she's touching you can see this one this one is going for one hundred and forty thousand naira as of the 24th of december that was the price they gave us 140k for this white ram yes why the goats you can get goods for thirty five thousand you can get goods for thirty seven thousand they also have the ones for top forty thousand and here in this market where you buy these goods they have where you can kill it um we just left this point and we're headed back to where we're buying our christmas chicken and here we are yes guys I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of how we will have And it was. Twelve thousand. Twelve. Where are one Did I collect this one? Is it your own? No, you are not. Okay, you're pricey. So here they are saying twelve thousand, but we went somewhere else, and this one she's holding the bigger one with um, seven five. Yes, this is seven five, and the smaller one is three five. So we just okay, let's pick the the two different sizes, and then um, if you give us what we want, yeah, for the number of people at home. Here is where they do all the cleaning of the fowl. Mm -hmm. I don't tire as usual. Like I said, this market is very big. Like this is the, the section where you have them killing the live um, chicken and all of that. Yes. Right now, my tired is tired. I don't know. I said the same word in my last time um, video, but I tell you, if you come to a market like this, you repeat the word. Very tired. So we're at the point where they kill the fowls. Yes, so, so as usual, we've stopped by where they're making it hot, hot. Chop one, chop two, chop four. <laughs> I, I just had to get like the hundred and like I love street food. Yeah, I love street food. I don't know, it's not, it's not healthy, but mm, just to munch on and, you know, later we detoxify ourselves. Mm, so I got like hundred bucks of this and then straight home. We're going home. We are tired. I am tired. Everybody's tired. The, the guy who is helping us with the stuff is tired. And you see those two baskets there i got them to pack some gifts for some people for the xmas season yes and i'll be showing you how i'll be doing that so stay tuned to this channel guys I at this point we're just packing our things to head home and this is what it is here so <laughs> 11 a.m was when we left the house and this is like to five and we are heading home like what a long day yes just stay tuned guys to see my christmas delicacy merry christmas to you so it's been crazy like i felt i was going to vlog about i was going to vlog about everything today like the cooking process and everything but to tell you the truth like i am tired from trying to make one thing to the other to having some hiccups here and there like my blender refused to work i brought out the other one is still god i was so tired but i said anyways i'll show you the end product of my my christmas meals i had a christmas menu to make um white rice and stew with chicken fried chicken then i also had plans to make soup i made the soup last night a goosey soup all in the fridge i'll put a video of it here and then I also made um, basmatic rice, yes, um, shrimp fried rice, yes, so these are my menu and then some drinks, you know, just to go with the coleslaw and all of that. So I'm just going to show you how the end products, 
like i'm not going to go through the whole process because uh, it was stressful but this could like help you create a menu for whatever event is coming up for you all right guys thank you just stay tuned and let's see how it goes so here you have it guys this is like my christmas menu like everything all nice and good tasting as good as it looks yeah and the way we do it in my house everybody comes together you know just serve yourself we pray we dance we eat and merry so merry christmas to you all thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for staying tuned to this channel god bless you see you soon bye